I'm sure most of you have come across this situation. Your character is locked into using a move and there is no way to prevent the character from getting hit. Ignore the fact that I could break their shield, I forgot to take Ron May of the team and I got the specific situation I needed to occur on my first attempt. Whether it is using a basic while or Jingle Yu is transformed or a skill while or blade is enhanced, this reveals a big problem with HSR's combat namely the lack of tools given to the player, which leads to shallow difficulty scaling. In Honkai Star L, there is really only one way to increase the difficulty of combat due to the lack of tools, which is increasing the enemy's level. But why is that bad? Increasing the enemy's level runs the risk of making the enemies too tanky, which would drag out the battle for way too long, making them less enjoyable. Especially with how strong 5-star sustainers are, we are at a very low risk of dying with them on our team. In which case, all that remains would be a bullet sponge, for which you need a specific 5 star to even attempt to beat in the given time. It could be argued that MOC buffs increase the difficulty without raising the level between each cycle, however they are not made to give the players a fun challenge but to make the limited character seem more powerful. They give you the lock and they sell you the key. You can still beat MOC without those characters but it will be more difficult, not because the content has gotten much more challenging but because the character no longer has an arbitrary buff helping them out. Adding a simple wait, end or defend option would add a lot more to the combat than you could imagine. For the sake of making an argument, let's say that when a character waits, they give up their current action and advance their next action by 75% to be generous. But how would that be beneficial to the player? Let's say that you have a team where you always get enough skill points for your Dunhang and Bobby Rune, but then one of your characters gets stunned, frozen or debuffed. Now your Dana Hung will not have enough skill points to use the attack and currently you just have to play around the RNG or roll for relics until all of your characters have 100% effect resistance, which is less than ideal, but if you could just wait and let other characters gain more skill points, you could potentially deal more damage in one cycle. Furthermore, the scenario from the beginning of the video would be solved. Now you can just not use a skill or not use a basic or even not attack a target when they are the only one remaining. Adding a block option will surely shake up the gameplay, but I still feel like it would be a band-aid solution. To begin with the positives, you could command your character that is on low HP to guard so that you don't lose a star in MOC or lose cosmic fragments reviving the character in simulated universe. Furthermore, it would allow Hoyo to make bosses that force you to play around their attack cycle by giving them a ridiculously strong attack that has to be blocked, otherwise your team will get wiped out. You will be responsible for aligning your buffs in a way where they are all active at the same time while still preserving a turn where all of your characters will have to block to avoid a big attack from an enemy. And don't get me wrong, this concept also sounds fun to me and would make the combat feel more complex but I can't think of any other way to utilize the block mechanic and the players have gotten so powerful that they will likely be able to weakness break or even defeat bosses before they get to use their big scary move. Let me know how you feel about what I said today, I would love to discuss with you in the comments and possibly make a follow up video where I highlight some of your ideas for gameplay mechanics. Until then, take care and I will see you in the next one.